Now, person, welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, the Office Fernandez. Welcome to Life Journey. And the reason why I'm making this video, these videos about people that are in a witchcraft, they are part of witchcraft, or they've been, they, they've been, they want to know whether or not this person is a witch. And these are the characteristic of people that are in closet. They are clo I call them the closet witch. I hope you, hope you have saw my, my part one of saying closet witch among us. Now these are the characteristic of who are the closet witches part two. Now I'm making this video because there are people that's 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 in surprise how to take off their mask and say I was a witch. So I'm making this video to, to show people that you should know them, their labor among us. The Bible says you should know them by their fruits. My friend, if a saved person is saved, they are in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And the Bible say in 2 Corinthians uh, 5, 17, if any man be in Christ, He's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. And Jesus Christ said, these, these signs shall follow them that believe. And Jesus Christ told the disciples, the sign of a disciple is love. So who are the closet witch, witches? Number one, they are not saved. These are people that are not saved. Now this is 10S. Let me go to the list before, before I say all of them. Save. Stubborn, Satan, secular, sex, the glory to God. Yes, uh, stars, silent, steel, yes, steel, servant, and they are singers. Let's talk about number one. Number one, that they are not saved. These are these are people that just go to church. Yes, they're just churchy. They participate in church, but they're not saved. See, go to church don't save you. What save you is Christ. What save you is a person that's born again. What save you is you have from the Holy Spirit. Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost save you. Not going to church. A lot of people sing on the choir. A lot of people are ushers. A lot of people, they are trustee. A lot of people, they do all these things in church, but they're not saved. Because we think that the building saved us. No, the person that saved you is Jesus Christ. That's number one. Number two, they are stubborn. In in uh, Chronicles, he go first Chronicles, I think, I think 16 or 15, 30, 32, 23, it say that, uh, uh, stubbornness is a form of witchcraft for a person that's rebellious a person that's stubborn my friend they do stubborn things they do things that they constantly smoke they constantly drink they constantly do pornography they constantly do things that they say they're Christian but they're not because they're stubborn so these are the characteristic of a person that is a closet which they are not, not saved they're stubborn number three they worship Satan Yes, there's only two entities in this world, my friend. The devil and God. The Lord and Lucifer. So it's time for us to choose who you want to serve. And these are people that worship Satan. If you are if you are Illuminati, if you are in a secret society, if you are a Mason, you are worshiping Satan. Plain, plain and simple. Amen. I'm telling you, these are closet witches, people that that are in the closet because they're not saved. Amen. They are stubborn and they worship Satan. He goes to God. Number four, they are, they are secular. Now, that secular means they love the world. Jesus Christ said, We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Amen. And Jesus Christ says, Sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. So we that are Christian, we 
Don't love the world. Because the Bible says, love not the world, neither things that are in the world. What's of the world? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Now, when I say lust of the flesh, meaning they feed the flesh. And it's a lust of the eye. Everything they see, they want. They're not content. They're living on a lustrous life. Jesus Christ told disciples, glory to God, be, beware of covetousness. So these people are secular. They dress secular, they talk secular, and they act secular because they love the world. See, Christian, we are pilgrim passing through. This is not our home. So if you know the, the closet witches, they are, they are not saved. They are stubborn. They worship Satan. They are secular. And the, and the fourth, the, the fifth thing, they love sex. Yes, they love sex. In, in, in the book of Obabiah, they say that these are the these are the prostitutes, and they love sex. Witches love sex. Amen. And I, when I say they love sex, they don't want to have children. They don't want to get married. And if they do get married, they put a spell on their spouse. So the spouse won't leave them. So they love sex. These are these are the people that are lesbian. These are people that are homosexual. These are people that are fornicators. These are people that commit adultery. You've been married ten times, and you you plan to get married for the eleventh time. You are a closet witch. I said it. You are a closet witch. If you've been married five times, you are a closet witch. If you've been married four times, you are a closet. If you've been married three times, you are a closet witch. Because of God say in the book of Malachi, I hate putting away. And 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 they asked Moses why they put away wife because of the hardness of your heart you put away your wife. Separation is not mean divorce. Separation means means you, you have the ministry of reconciliation to go back to that person. And number one, why do you marry somebody that you, you have question about? By you marrying them, they go to God and you, 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 they answer the question at the altar, you ought to say, I don't. Why you don't go through the heartache of getting divorced? My friend, the Bible says the hardness of your heart, you put away your spouse. But from the beginning, God made male and female. And at the end, my friend, the marriage, they're going to be marriage in heaven. We are the bride, and Jesus Christ is the bridegroom. So these witches, they love sex as lesbian, as homosexual, as transgenders, fornicators, and adulterers, and perverts. They go to God, these perverts. They go to God. The rapists, child molesters. <laughs> the list goes on. Number six, they they love the stars. They love the galaxies. And, and I say, and I say, people that that, that at nighttime see witches stays up at night. You know why? Because they look at the star. They get energy from the stars. They get energy from the sun. They get energy from the nature because they are witches. And Satan is blind they mind to think that they're not worshiping Satan. But there's only two entities in this world. They got the God and the devil. So they love the stars. They are stargazers. They wish to wear they wear a, a necklace with star on it, wear a ring with, with star on it. In their house it's all darkness. Because they love the dark. We are children of light. And they are children of the darkness. And close to God. Number seven. They are the silent one. Yes, they're silent. You know why they're silent? Because they're studying you. They're trying to find a crack. Glory to God to, 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 to find trying to find a crack to put a spell on you. So they are the silent one. You ever see somebody in your job that's silent? They don't talk. They're always by themselves. Because they're studying you. They are the silent one. I'm talking about who are the witches that's in the closet. Amen. Who are the, the closet witches? Part two. Hey, glory. So that they are the silent one. They are silent. Hey, glory to God. Number eight. Hey, glory. They steal hearts. Amen. Now, when I say steal heart, my friend, they they steal relationship. They don't they don't mean they want the person. They love to see people miserable. They love to see people unhappy. 
they take your spouse, they take your husband, take your wife, my friend. They they steal like Absalom. Absalom steal the heart of the people, so they stop trusting David and start trusting him. But what happened at the end? At the end, he died because his hair got stuck on an oak tree. So I'm telling you, my friend, they steal the heart of the symbol. Hey, glory to God. That's why we as being Christians, we're going to be wrapped up and tied up and tangled up. No room for the flesh. No room for Satan. Hey, glory to God. And number, number nine thing, and this is one that is very, is in our church, my friend. They pretend to be servant of the Lord. Yes, we talk, we talk, we talk about preachers that are in the closet and they are witches. Yes, I said it. They, we got preachers on the pulpit. They are closet witches. And the reason why I say that closet witches is because anytime you're molesting a little boy, anytime you, you're having sex with a teenager, amen, and you try, you you brainwash the parents, hey, glory to God, so they won't put you to, so they won't lock you up. Look at, look at uh, 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 that, that preacher, Eddie Long. Amen. Eddie Long say that he became a vegan and started losing all the way. No, he didn't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but, but he's not the only one. The rest of them haven't been caught yet. Look at the priest. The priest molesting little boys. Why? Because they pretend to be servant of the Lord. These are closet witches, my friend. And we must be aware of these people that's among us. Amen. These are the list. These are characteristic of the closet witches. They pretend to be servant of the Lord behind his sacred desk. Our glory to God. And we must be aware of the closet witches. They in the closet still, but you can peep in the closet and you can know who they are. And glory to God. Number 10. And this is what this one is going to shock you. They are the singers that soften your heart and break it. Remember, Satan loved music as a charmer. So they are singers that soften your heart and break it. Remember, Satan was a choir director in heaven. The Bible said there was piped in him. How oh, glory to God. Somebody need to hear this. Amen. I'm still here. Life journey, glory to God, is here to, to help people that are struggling with witchcraft. You could know them who labor among you. The person you think that's in the grocery store is your friend. The person that lives next door to you might not be your friend. They're a closet witch, my friend. And you're wondering why these things are happening to you. Because the person that you walk with, the person that you talk with, the person you tell truth with, the person is a person that is a closet witch. And the next one, my friend, number 11, they are the secret. <laughs> yes, and the reason, listen, secret. Secret, hey, go to God, you are not to be telling your secret. And why I say that? Because Samson got in trouble of revealing his secret. And Delilah called a Philistine to cut his hair. And what happened to Samson? Samson was blind and it was bind. But at the end, he wins. At the end, you're going to win. See, a witch on a building your faith up. A, can I help you? A witch is on a building your faith up because the more they attack you, the more you're growing in grace. You're growing in God. And you're growing in God's goodness. If you never have trouble, how you know how to pray? If you've never been afflicted, how you know that God can heal you? See, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, amen, they were in a fiery furnace, but God was with them. Daniel was caught praying, but God delivered Daniel out of the lion's den. How glory to God. The children of Israel was at the Red Sea, but God told Moses to stretch forth thy rod. And they divided the Red Sea and they walked through on dry land. So I'm saying this to say this to you, my friend. If witches are bothering you, amen, don't lose heart knowing that God 
is with you. So they use the secret you tell them against you like Delilah and Samson. Samson refused the secret to Delilah and Delilah called a Philistine upon Samson. But at the end, Samson wins because he destroyed more Philistine blind than when he saw. So I'm telling these people, my friend, there are 11 characteristics of a closet witch. My friend, they are not saved. They are stubborn. They worship Satan. They love circle of people that are in the world. They love sex. And they worship sex as lesbian or homosexual, fornicators, adulterers. They glory to God. Amen. And they love stars. They are silent ones. They steal the heart of the simple. Amen. They pretend to be servant of the Lord, pastors in our churches. Amen. They might be ushers. They might be sing. They might sing on a choir. Them. They might be trustees, my friend. They call us a servant of the Lord. And they are singers. Some of these gospel singers are, are, are closet witches. Because a person sing gospel music, they don't mean they're saved. They ain't it for the money. They ain't it for, for, for filthy lucre's sake. So don't get your hopes up on high because a person singing gospel music. No. There are closet witches among us. As I mentioned in part one. Amen. And 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 of eleven, they use the secret you tell them against you. Never share your secret, my friend. God knows our secret. And let our secret stays among us. The only secret you ought to tell somebody so they can get help. But any other secret, my friend, you should not tell them. Amen. So a person that holding a secret, don't tell your secret.